it was a great year for the world champion Milwaukee Bucks, and one enthusiastic fan couldn't curb his enthusiasm. Take a look. Uh-oh. Oh, if he chucks it, he gonna go ham. He about to go ham. <laughs> oh, Bucks and six. Take that motherfucker off. Oh, oh. don't rip it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's always good in the moment. But then after they stop the music and they go, man, and they start the game yeah, back like, up. It's cold. You just got to sit back at. down. <laughs> you ain't got no shirt on. And you notice the people looking at your stupid ass. Still there. Like, looking you at you. You didn't have another shirt? Nah. You know? <laughs> so this motherfucker off in the heat of the moment. <laughs> the Bucks won the NBA Finals. And at their victory celebration, there was less than one in speeches. Let's take a look. I came in, they're like, yo, you got to, like, Show like you gotta be the dog, and I'm what? like, what? We, man, we got dogs. Like they just say, what? Like we, <laughs> what you? Like I got here, like we we already got dogs. What? They just don't know how to be dogs, and we going. What are we talking dogs. about right now, PJ? First and foremost, you guys are bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and they was like, you sixty know, ounce battle. You got to be the dog. So I'm like. We already got dogs. What? <laughs> yeah, but we're the bad bucks, when you though. talk, you just hear people in the background going, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What'd he say? This is the part that made me laugh. That's what I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even. I'm like, what? Stop it. Uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks celebrated their Super Bowl victory with the boat parade. And even though he won a seventh Lombardi, Tom Brady party like it was his first championship. I'm open, Tom. I'm wide right. open. Oh, wow. Hit me with it. Tom, Look at this. Tom. Come on, what? <laughs> <laughs> Super Bowl. What are you talking about? Tom, why you got on a knee brace? <laughs> <laughs> he got on a knee brace at the after party? <laughs> Tom, why you got your... Tom, don't ever put your knee brace on <laughs> just to hang out, Tom. <laughs> Hey, he was looked, gone, man. That looked like that Brett Favre commercial. The copper, what's it the called? The copper tone. With him and Jerry, him and Jerry Rice. Rice running them <laughs> old ass routes. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> out there playing three on three with some bums. Hey, when I wear copper tone, uh, I'm just as fast as I was in 1987. Tom Brady, don't you ever put another goddamn knee brace on to go to a parade. Sit your ass home if that's what you gotta do, man. You sure you in position to judge people for getting too wild after a Super Bowl, Kev? Because yeah. I remember this thing happening to you a few years ago. In the game, you guys didn't flinch, exposed and Sorry to interrupt, but I got a special oh, fan for you. Oh, oh, How's Kevin Hart? for you. Oh, he need, he need a ladder. <laughs> Not one out. The best! Oh, I like it. How'd you feel when Brady had that ball and got sacked? <laughs> Look at my eyes. Lost the ball. I'll say this. Look at my eyes. We're very lucky to have this guy <laughs> a part of this team. I've been drinking. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. That's the you were so fucked up. Yeah. You was trying to be professional. That's the part I'm tripping up. You was like, yeah. okay, I, I am on TV, but look, let me tell y'all. Look. Hey. I've never been more, I've never been more intoxicated in my life. But guess what? I do the same thing again. This year, the people started a movement to hashtag free Britney. And it worked. Fans are important. That right there, that should not be. You just look past. That's love. That's people standing by who they've supported over the years. That's dope as hell, man. Yeah, right? no justice, no peace. Get Britney on these streets. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how he does it. He just does it. Shit just comes to him so fast. My last rap, it thought me. I, I literally took about 10 minutes thinking of that shit before I did it. <laughs> Welcome to 2021 and done. I'm your homie, Big Snoop D O Double G, the dog father, the player, the coach, the pimp, the liaison, the executive, the money maker, the producer of algorithm, mm. and so on and so on. Mm. And I'm Kevin, aka Long Little Feet, uh, <laughs> big nose, happy mouth, uh, long forehead, little structure, uh, big knuckles, small hands. Um, that's all I got, Snoop. I like that. Ooh. Oh. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was good to see you, man. It's been about a year and a half since the Tokyo Olympics, man. No, it hasn't. It was like six months ago. Went mm -hmm. 2021, man. 
Damn, you right. I don't know what's wrong with me. My short-term memory. Short-term memory? You and that stuff, ain't you? What stuff? You know what I'm talking about. Hey, man, we on TV. OK. Three, two, one. Horses, I like this. This is equestrian. This they is prancing. They prancing. call this equestrian. By the way, look at that horse. Did you? Oh, the horse crip walking, cuz. You see that? <laughs> on the set. <laughs> That's gangsters of up. Hey! Oh, 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 look at this, cuz. Oh, come on, man. This horse is off the chain. I got to get this motherfucker in a video, cuz. Oh, you see? <laughs> oh, my God. Snoop said I got to put the horse in the video. This motherfucker's off the chain. I need that. Horse Crip walking is officially in the Olympics. Man, you see that? Play it one more time, man. You gotta see that. That play, intro walk was play cold. Play it one more time. Play, play it one more time so we can see it. <laughs> West Coast. <laughs> By the way, how did the horses get to Tokyo? What airline was it? Emirates? They fly That's the horses expensive. On, they fly the horses on Emirates? And the athletes on Southwest? You know, the problem is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Do the horses get medals when they win, too, or, or they don't get medals? That's a good question, Snoop. I've never seen a horse with a medal. Do they? No, it goes to the person on the horse, which should be changed. He ain't did nothing but just sat, sat on the motherfucking and went for the ride. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see that jockey do any type of crip walk just now. Just stayed on for the ride, just. You didn't have your ankles taped. The horse did. <laughs> I demand for a horse to get the respect that they deserve, have the same bragging rights as the jockey. You start to hang a medal on these horses' neck, so when they get around the other horses, they can <laughs> and show the other horse. <laughs> you don't think a horse want to brag? I want to brag too, bitch. Look at what I got. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> they get back there in the stall. Look at y'all naked neck asses. They ain't got nothing. <laughs> Hood, look at me over here, <laughs> shining. I'm over here shining on y'all. That is all we got for Cold Calls. What an amazing segment. Snoop, I think that's when going to stick. Play the title card. Twenty Twenty One bought the end of the Kardashians on E and the end of Kim and Kanye in real life. Uh, in a divorce, Kim got the house and Kanye got the stadium. That's right. When they separated, Kanye moved into <laughs> Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Stadium. This is actually Kanye's room. Let's take a look. These motherfucker really did move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It looks like the women's gym at the NCAA tournament. Look at that shit. Remember, they only had three weights? <laughs> it looked like the Olympic dressing room at the The box bed. Exactly. <laughs> only Kanye. Look at this shit, man. Then he went to a game later that night that was on top of the stadium that he was sleeping up under. Yeah, well, when they said, Kanye, what you about to do after this? I'm about to go downstairs and go to bed. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go right to sleep. I ain't gonna do too much after this. I ain't trying to be up all night. I'm gonna go right downstairs and go to bed. Tell them they gotta wrap this basketball shit up. I got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> when he was living there, Kanye was spotted making an appearance at one of those games we talking about. Let's check it out. Hey, Kanye! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kanye got paint holes on his face. <laughs> Kanye, Kanye walking. <laughs> Kanye walked in that bitch looking like a bank robber from the 80s. Put the money in the bank, bitch. Luther? <laughs> you know they could always see who was robbing them in the panty hole? Say, you jab yeah. ass nigga, put the money in the bank. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit you got to say if it ain't a money in the bank. Hey, man, I know you. You don't know me. Stop looking at me, man. Just put the money in the fucking bag. <laughs> Go roll with Cliff again. Let me see what he had on walking to the gym again. Hey, Look at this shit here. God damn it. God damn it, Kanye. Nigga had on the Eddie Murphy delirious outfit with a stocking cap. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, man. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, there's only one Kanye, man. You know, Kanye was trying to hide from paparazzi, but the pantyhose weren't enough. So he took it to the next level. As seen in this photo. Look at this right here. Yep, oh, there it is shit. right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, perfectly normal. I don't know who that is. <laughs> who's that? Who's this? Who's this regular guy at the bank? 
<laughs> this isn't suspicious at all. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Who's this man monster that looks perfectly normal? He doesn't eat people. Who the fuck is this? Oh, he's got black eyes. Look at this fucking... Look at the mask and then look at the eyes. This shit is amazing, man. What is Kanye trying to do, shit? man? I don't know. Now, the year started off with so much promise, but less than a weekend, well, it went off the rails when a bunch of tourists showed up for a field trip in D.C., hoping to meet with their congressman and hang with Mike Pence. Hang with Mike Pence or hang Mike Pence? Oh, my God. Let's take a look at this white hot mess. Oh, look at this. This is when they acted a fool, January 6th. I look remember this. this like yesterday. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this just, shit. Just madness. What are you doing? Taking over the Capitol. Look at this dumbass. Look at you. What you gonna do? He got a bongo in his arm. Bravery. <laughs> He's got a bongo <laughs> on him. This, this really makes you just think like, I what, want him to fall. What the fuck are you doing, man? I need somebody to fall, Kevin. It's not <laughs> look, right. Look at this. Look at this idiot. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Come that, on. That was an Olympic highlight for your ass. <laughs> Don't you lose your grip. God damn. There was one true hero that day. Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman who led the mob away from the Senate chamber, rolled a clip. Don't you come up. Don't you come up, boy. Boy. Boy, you see this little stick? Got, all right, I'm going That motherfucker get bigger every time it hits your head. head. Hey, don't you go further. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> get your ass back, bitch. <laughs> see, that was the smartest move he made right there because it was political people in that room, and he knew that he had to determine to go this way. That was the smartest move right there. See, that's he from the streets because he knew how to psych them out. Mm -hmm. They ain't even pay attention in that room. They steady following him. That was a great, great strategic move. Yeah, he better than me. I would've got him off my ass. I was like, <laughs> that's who you want. You want the people in there. Go that way. <laughs> that's exactly what I would've did. Yeah, that man trying to be a hero, sometimes you got to worry about yourself, man. That's the fact. I think that clip would be way more gangster if we reversed that. Look at him now. You Get your bitch ass out of here. Huh? What would I say? I got this stick. Crack your head, cuz. Get your motherfucking ass out of huh? here. Right what? now. You back, back up, up, boy. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. I got this. Don't even worry no, about no. what's going on out here. Y'all no. just stay in there. Yeah. I got this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. on back in there. I'm gonna run these motherfuckers out of here. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna backpedal boy, and make I'm niggas back. get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, kiss my ass. That's what y'all gonna do. <laughs> Everybody. By the way, that's one of those moments where you really look around and you got the feeling to go, why did I take this job? <laughs> like, when all those people standing there, you look and realize you're the only one. He been the only one there for years. He been the only one there for years and it's been the best job ever because nothing's ever happened. No. On that day, he was like, ain't this about a bitch? He's like, Man, where Charles at? Charles he kept doing. He here. kept doing this too, pushing that little thing <laughs> where nobody on the other he, end. Nobody, <laughs> nobody. He kept, he kept doing this. When I said, all right, hey, Charles. <laughs> hey, Charles. What, nigga? I'm at McDonald's. Uh, no, hey, Charles. <laughs> Charles, I need you to act like you in another room. Back. What you want, nigga? Number five or four? Yeah, I need don't... you to get your black ass back. Up here. <laughs> hey. I don't mean to speak for you, Snoop, but I've never seen rock climbing on TV. But now, that's about to change. It's time for new sport. Who this? Who this? Who this? <laughs> Who this is? Yeah. This footage just came in. Let's take a look at some speed climbing. Speed climbing. Yeah! Woo! Where'd it go, Duffy? Wait a second, show. Hold on, show me some more of that. Let me, let me see a little more of that real quick. Um, oh, oh, no. Get your ass oh, get out your of here. Stupid get your ass. dumb ass get out of here. Get out of here. Get off the wall. <laughs> we done came all the way to Tokyo for you to goddamn stop in the middle. <laughs> Eight seconds later. 15 meter wall, first one to tap the buzzer wins the round. Mm -hmm. And uh, the climbing route is always the same. Everybody takes the same route, so. Nobody yeah. tries nothing different, like go left instead no. of going right first? No, it's all the same, head to head race. Single elimination. Do you think you can do that sport? Absolutely not, Snoop. It's one of those things we kind of know off the back what my answer would be. That's got, that's got Achilles tendon. I couldn't even look across the lane and see you over there and be like, what are we doing here? Hey, man, I'm hanging right here. That's not, that's not our thing. By the way, let's go back. Let me count the black people we saw. I uh, seen one, the one that fell. Yeah, the one that fell. Yeah, he wasn't the shit. The one that fell he was gets black. gets in the event and fell. God damn, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, fellas, that's new sport. Who this? Yeah, who is this? Now you get to find out. Who? <laughs> Let me deal with what just happened. Get out of here. I'm gonna push you. 
She stole that in the last 12, 13 steps. Wow, I don't even understand. First of all, congrats, Sydney. What an amazing race. But I don't think they have proper etiquette, okay? You you gotta understand, if I just watched you, I just watched you pass <laughs> me, okay? I just, I'm trying my best. I'm moving, and I know I can't do nothing about what just happened. Let me sit in that loss for a second. No, man, get the fuck out of here. I'm a, I, 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 <laughs> you, you coming over as soon as we cross the finish line with your arms all out looking to be embraced. I got to sit in my loss for a moment. I just, I just dropped everything just now. It's but that's all the over. Olympic attitude is like they are the best in their country, right? So to even be there, I know me and you can't fathom this shit. I'd nah. be like, fuck that, nah. get out of my motherfucking yeah, face. Yeah, I'm I lost. Doing, like, let me at least do the walk. You know when they when they cross the finish line, they do the walk with their hand on the yeah. hips. You can tell they thinking to themselves, like, God, man. <laughs> Looking around, trying to. Yeah, let me get that off. Don't, right, right. don't come to me right away and make me do the whole forced thing like I'm happy right now. <laughs> I'm not. Let a loser lose for a second. <laughs> Finally. After a year in quarantine, people seem to forget how to behave out in the real world, especially on airplanes. Take a look. Sit down now. You can't hold us. Oh, man. We're out on the ground, sir. Yes, we are. No. Yeah, see, see, this is way too much patience. This is way too much patience. You got to knock him the fuck out. Right there. Right there. He already knocking himself out. Look at this. Look no. at this shit. Yeah, I see this. He got the dog. <laughs> You're not going to do this next to me. No. What I'm going to do is take three, two people in the back that I don't know and say, man, we finna come together and yeah, be this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, we got to use that. You're not going to look at me and eat your mask. Really? No. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, now he's calm now, look the this. police car. Really? Yep. What did I do? Shut your stupid <laughs> ass up. You know what you did? Over here growling at the goddamn flag. Why they didn't table. cuff him, though? That's that privilege again. They didn't cuff him. By the way, they shouldn't have trusted him from the beginning. He had on jean shorts. <laughs> I ain't never met anybody trustworthy in jean shorts. Uh Welcome back to 2021 and done. Social media had a lot of likes and some really big dislikes this year. We're gonna talk about some of them in a segment that we're calling Viral Overload. This past summer, Kevin and I covered the Olympics on Peacock, and some of our clips went viral. But shortly after the Olympics, a new trend popped up on social media. The Hood Olympics. Check this shit out. <laughs> Do you know this was started by some crackheads, right? Of course. This was a this was a move that the crackheads told the dope dealers, if I do this, you give me a 20 rock. And then everybody around the world started doing crackhead shit and didn't even know it. All to go viral. Yep. Just to be seen and break your motherfucking neck. A bunch of people with fucked up spines out there because of this dumb ass. Bang! Right here. Necks and spines rearranged all over. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot of failed videos, but one guy successfully took home the crate gold. Check him out. Hey, yo, hey, yo, everybody, Mike said he's going up there rolling up a blunt. Oh, he, he rolling up he a blunt? He get... Hold on, if he pull this off, he gonna get it. He rolling up? Looking like DJ Drama and Drake and motherfucking, uh, <laughs> every light-skinned nigga I know. That's <laughs> all good. Oh, he cold with it, too. Them George is on point. Look at this George. Oh, he licked it down? Don't spin it and lip it. That's the spin-lip technique right there. You do that good on the roll. When you when you rolling the blunt, that's the technique that you use when you're on the run. Like, a lot of times when we running and trying to get out of there fast, you rolling up. He's... This nigga, this nigga right here is the standing motherfucking over. Look at his homie on the side. That nigga, that nigga was like, The hype up from everybody else is what makes it even better. Yeah! Yeah! Go give him a light! Get that nigga light like that, bleasy! Because that was too easy. Welcome back to 2021 and done. Now, you may not know this, but celebrities get all kinds of things sent to them ahead of time. That's true. Uh, I've already got the iPhone 27, and I got an invite to Oprah's inauguration. Very true. They also send us all of next year's stories so we already know what's going to happen in 2022. Yeah, you know, Snoop, let's give him a little peek. Just a little sneak peek at what we're talking about. A sneak okay? peek? Yeah, uh, guys, give us the envelopes, please. The man in all black. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay, first thing, Cardi B. Cardi B's gonna hit menopause and she's gonna release a new song called Dry Ass Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion will give birth to a beautiful baby boy and name him Tony 
the pony. Oh, man. Not the pony. Not Tony the Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse is going to debut his new Stand Your Ground Beef Tacos. So good, they'll make you cry without tears. It's, it's good. <laughs> In an effort to put the controversy behind them, Jeopardy announces his new host, Dave Chappelle. Oh, shit. By the way, would be great. It would be. That'd be fucking strong. I can see it. I'd lock in. Colin Kaepernick will turn down an offer from the Jets saying, I don't want to play football that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you just say Lions. You should have said Lions. A black person will finally watch Yellowstone. <laughs> I've been watching that show for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good show. It's okay, kid. It's a good show. <laughs> I'm really into it, too. Uh, I'm out. You got any more? Okay, what about this one? Elon Musk will announce the new Tesla that could suck your dick. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, technically... <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with that if that happens? <laughs> Like, I ain't in the wrong, the car doing it. I ain't doing it. <laughs> you be, don't be mad at me, be mad at Tesla. I ain't. <laughs> Why you keep driving back and forth to the That's store? That's Tesla shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Storylines of 2022. Mm. <laughs>